Hi there, and welcome to another video of Made with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be showing you how to use the CSS op inside of Cables. So I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Great. Step two, click the Div Element op, go to Style and click Edit. I'd like to just type over what you see there, and that's going to give you this Div Element right there. Okay, great. So what we're looking at here is inline CSS. It's CSS code which works only for this op. So if I'm going to copy this op now, and I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to call this div element 2, the code that I change in this div element is not going to affect this one. So if I'm going to go here to div element 2, I'm going to type in top 50% to move it down. This doesn't affect div element 1. Okay, so what we're going to do is now we're going to use the CSS op to um, add CSS styling to our cables patch. So I'm going to press escape, I'm going to type in CSS, and we're going to define a custom style sheet. So first of all, we need to create a class. So I'm going to make one for div element one and div element two. So I'm going to click edit. I'm going to do dot div ele one. I'm going to give it a body, and I'm going to repeat this. And I'm going to call it div ele2. Okay, so this is external CSS code. So what's inside the op that's inline? This is external. So I'm going to go to the div element. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to do control A, control X. I'm going to press uh, control S to save, and this div element will disappear because there's now no CSS styling applied to it. So I'm going to click the CSS op, go here, and I'm just going to paste that in there. Select these lines, press tab. When I press Control S, we're still not going to see it because now we need to assign this class to the op. So I click here on the class name, Control C, and now I'm just going to paste that into the class. There we go. So now I'm going to show you another thing. So I'm going to click on Div Element 2, Edit, and I know it's got the same code. Control A, Control C. Now I'm going to go back to the CSS. I'm going to jump here to Div Element 2. And now we're going to assign this class. And now I want to show you something that's really important to pay attention to. We now get this warning. The div uses external and inline CSS. Well, you know, if a div element is getting two CSS styles, it's got to pick one over the other, and you can never be guaranteed what that will be. So my advice is, if you're using a div element op, is to only use inline or to only use external. So I'm going to go here to edit, and I'm going to get rid of the inline text, control S. Now you don't see a difference, but now we know that the CSS styling is only coming from this CSS op. So this is great because now we've got two separate classes. So I'm going to go here and as you can see, I've got duplicate code. I've got uh, font size, position, and Z index. So you know what? I'm going to do control X to cut that. And I'm going to make a new class. I'm going to call it div common. I'm going to paste that in there. Now I'm going to save Div element one is going to disappear. Why? Well, it doesn't have um, a position or a Z index. So now we go here to this class div common. I'm going to click on div element one, and you can give a div element two or more classes. So now I'm going to put that there, and we get it back. Now I'll show you why I was doing this. So I'm going to go here to div element two, and I'm going to do that as well. So now div element one and div element two both have the class div common. I click edit, and I'm going to get rid of this. So now if I'd want to change the font size of both divs, I can just go here, change this to 200 or 400. And because they're sharing this class, they both change their style accordingly. So that's a really handy trick. So you don't have to duplicate code and you can create a kind of unified style. Last thing I want to show you is you've got a huge wealth of things that you can do with CSS, different interactions based upon hover and things like that. So I'm going to do div ele1 hover, just something really simple. I'm just going to say color red, control S. So that's div element one. Now it turns red if I do this. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put this on div element two. And I'm going to make it green. OK. And that's the really nice part about the CSS op. It it allows you to get all of your CSS code, and just like traditional CSS and HTML, you can just see everything in one page instead of having it on separate ops, which is really handy and really useful. Okay, 
I hope this video has been educational. If you've got any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.